and welcome to today's Tuesday Tip. Again, I'd like to say a Happy New Year, and we're looking forward to the 2019 session with you on the Tuesday Tips. Today's tip is going to be from a viewer that sent in an email and asked us for our opinion or for some help. I'll read it to you. Vicki, would you please tell me your opinion on this question? We went smoke-free at all of our properties, effective 1-1-2019. Our residents were given over a year's notice, and the existing residents were allowed to continue smoking during that year, but the new ones were not. It is not going very well, not well at all. Several are continuing to smoke after hours when the manager leaves and several others are complaining about the smoke. One of our residents even threw a great American smoke out party in her apartment on 1231 and invited all of the other smokers to her apartment to smoke. Can't begin to tell you how that smelled. She is one of the ones that we would really like to talk with, but we've already heard that she's continuing to smoke. I talked to ProServe about measures that we can take to remove some of the smoking odor while a resident is still living there. They suggested the best fix would be to clean the ductwork coils and apply a deodorized sealant for the air and heating system in those apartments and also run an air scrubber for a couple of hours while the cleaning of the ductwork is being done. We realize it won't entirely remove the odor until a person moves out and we're able to paint, clean the carpets, etc. but it would be a big improvement. The residents can stay in the apartment while this process is being done, if they choose to, as opposed to some other ozone treatments where they have to leave. My question that I need help with is, if a resident tells us that they do not want it done in their unit or they resist us doing it, what can we do? ProServe said that it would be performed like an extermination service and that this would actually improve the air quality in the apartments. They do this in some apartment buildings in our area on a periodic basis because it removes any mold, mildew, dirt, etc., and improves the overall air quality. So what can we do if the resident doesn't want it done or refuses to cooperate? This would be a general cleaning of ductwork. However, it will also help us catch the ones who continue to smoke as we do plan to give out lease violations for smoking. What are your thoughts? And if you have any other suggestions, we'd love to hear them. Well, first of all, I tell you to consult the regional or someone in upper management and your attorney if you have one. With that being said, uh, you need a plan. You can have the ductwork clean, provided all residents receive notice, and that you clean all of the ductwork in all of the units, not just some. Um, you do plan to clean all of the ductwork in all of the units, don't you? I would start by making uh, the process a part of the house rules. If you make the process a part of the house rules, the 4350.3 says that you have to give the residents a 30-day notice that the house rules are going to change. So I would give them the notice in the notice, I would state that the house rules are going to change and that we're going to be doing air quality duct work cleaning on all of the units and that you would let them know what the schedule is. You can even tell them it will be kind of like the extermination services. It won't be every month, but it might be every year or you might decide that you want to do it every quarter. Whatever um, Servpro told you in terms of how often they need to come before they get control of the odor. Then I would ask them to come into the office and sign some type of acknowledgement that they have received a notice that the house rules are changing. Now, once you give the 30-day notice and you put this in effect, 
if for any reason they decide that you can't come into their unit, they're in violation of their lease. Because remember, the house rules are an attachment to the lease. So if you give your lease violations for them continuing to smoke, you have to refer to the lease. I hope it clears up for you, and I hope that you get a handle on the problem. We have had a lot of calls. In fact, I was at a meeting today, a SAMA meeting, and it seems to be an issue with a lot of properties that have gone smoke-free. Remember, HUD made a mandate that the public housing go smoke-free, but they haven't done that for our inventory yet. So with that being said, we look to see you next Tuesday and tune in for another Tuesday tip.